Hey guys, Thunder E here, and this is the best companion device for the Galaxy Note 10. Now, I'm talking about the Galaxy Watch Active 2, and it brings a lot to the table. What I like about it is, of course, that it's got a brand new design from top to bottom, looks really nice, got a really fresh look to it, and I think a lot of people will like it. Comes in a 40 millimeter and 44 millimeter sizes. I do like the 44 millimeter. It's bigger, it also has a bigger battery in that. What you notice is it doesn't have that uh, analog rotating front face because it now has a digital uh, front face which you can actually use your hand around and it functions the same way. So you've got that digital wheel to navigate around the home, the menu. It's also running the latest One UI version for the Galaxy Watch, which is pretty nice. Another cool feature that I like on the Galaxy Watch Active is something I call outfit matching. This is where you use your Galaxy Note device, the Note 10, uh, to take a picture of either your outfits, your shoes, your shirt, and this replicates some of the designs and patterns to a watch face, which then shows up, of course, on your Galaxy Active Watch 2. That's pretty cool. Something that's very unique and keeps the style that you want, especially if you're wearing some really cool, you know, sneakers or you're wearing a cool t-shirt that I have on here. That's, of course, if you're a big fan of Hunter x Hunter, you know that's coming back. Uh, you can do a lot of that using, of course, the the, the Gear Watch app on your Galaxy Note device. It's got a brand new EKG sensor, improved heart rate sensor, and it's got a lot of cool new features. You can watch uh, your videos, YouTube videos directly on your watch. You can now um, use Google Street Translate as well on the watch. You can also do things like use Samsung Pay, which through NFC you can use for payments. And it's got a very nice slick feel. I think a lot of people like this watch because of what it brings to the table. Pricing is pretty nice, uh, $279 and $299 for the two sizes. LT version doesn't have a price right now, but I think this is something a lot of people like. Now, if you're not a big fan of, say, uh, Gal the Galaxy Watch series, which I think is the best watch on the Android ecosystem, then here's something else from my buddy, um, JV Tech T, who will tell you about another watch that you should take a look at that might be a good companion for the Galaxy Note 10. Why is this seat so warm? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that makes it in the edit. All right, well, now that he's gone, hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? I'm here to talk to you about the TicWatch Pro 4G LTE. All right, this is going to be a bit of a comparison between this and the Galaxy Watch Active 2, but the main reason why you might want to pick a watch like this is because it does still work with Android. After all, this is a Wear OS device. However, what you do also have here are two different screens. You might know this already. You have a secondary screen that is on top of the main screen that gives you all of Wear OS. That is just a regular LCD screen that gives you something of a more retro design. That way, when you have the watch in standby mode, you still have the ability to tell the time and actually see a few bits of information. But these are all things that you probably know about the TicWatch Pro already. There are three main things about this watch that are actually updated for this 4G LTE variant. And the first one has to do with the design. And you do have this etch around the bezel, also around the buttons, the two buttons on the side, where one of them is to get to the menu and the other one is for a shortcut. Uh, however, this is a more executive watch, despite there being a silicone band that matches with plenty of different types of outfits. As far as performance is concerned, you do have more RAM inside of this particular model which means that things can actually run in the background for longer. And in general, I do think that this watch has a little bit more speed than the original TicWatch Pro. And then finally, obviously, we're talking about 4G LTE. This is connectivity that allows you to use this watch standalone, so you don't even need to have it paired to a smartphone at all times. Now, depending on the different types of applications you use in Wear OS, you can have full functionality. For example, you are actually able to use something like Telegram, so you can message everybody in your list, and you don't even have to have the phone anywhere near you. It just has to connect to a mobile network via Verizon LTE by itself. But ultimately, if you're looking for a smartwatch that still connects to the Galaxy Note 10 while having some functionality aside from the Samsung Galaxy ecosystem, well, you have a Wear OS watch like this that can do some mobile networking on its own. All right, get me out of this chair. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions or any comments about the Galaxy Watch Active 2, let us know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and Always enjoy your entertainment.